Hello! It's Miss Cassie from the Orange Beach Public Library. I'm here for another bedtime story time. We start all our story times with a song. So it's our hello song and it goes like this. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine and I hope that you are too. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine and I hope that you are too. Very good! All right, we're going to read a book tonight that is also, you know what that means? New! It's a new book. It is called The Paper Kingdom, and it is, our barcode's covering up the author's name, by Helena Kuri and illustrated by Pascal Campion. Hi, Parker! All right, so let's get started. Let me fix my, my camera. There we go. Mama and Papa were night janitors. While they got ready for work, Daniel got ready for sleep. Tonight, he was so very tired. He snuggled into his bed in a corner of the apartment. Suddenly, bring! Mama answered the phone. Oh, I see. That's okay. She walked over to Daniel. You have to come with us, little bug. Too sleepy, Mama. I'll wait for Auntie Clara. That was Clara. She can't come tonight. Can I stay upstairs with Dwayne's family? No, we asked them for too many favors, Papa said. Then I'll stay here by myself. I'll be good. Papa shook his head and helped Daniel change out of his pajamas. Their old cars sputtered as they drove to Mama and Papa's work downtown. The big glass building always looked so angry. It seemed to say, stay out. Can I just sleep in the car? Daniel asked. It does kind of look like a scary face, doesn't it? You see the eyes and the mouth? Yeah. But Mama and Papa said no. They hurried Daniel inside and waved at Sam, the security guard. Hello, Daniel, said Sam. Wow, you've grown. Soon you'll be as tall as me. Daniel doubted he'd grow to be as giant like Sam. I won't tell anyone he's here, Sam winked at Mama and Papa. Thank you, Sam, Papa said as they got in the elevator. He's a security guard. Daniel was so tired he felt like crying. When can we leave? Mama and Papa didn't answer. From a big closet, they got brooms, mops, sprays, vacuums, and buckets. So many tools. Daniel sneezed. Why is that stuff so dirty? Because they keep the kingdom clean, said Mama. Daniel was confused. What kingdom? The paper kingdom, Papa said. Didn't we tell you before? This is the land of the paper king. The paper king? Then da Now Daniel felt awake. How come I never saw him? Where is he? Let's go see, Mama said. Maybe he's in his throne room. They went to the large room with a desk as long as a banquet table in a castle. A tall chair stood behind the desk. Looks like the king's gone to bed, said Papa. Let's clean up for him. Mama picked up paper from the floor. Papa emptied the wastebasket. Why so much paper, Daniel asked. It's the paper kingdom, remember, said Papa. The king checks all the paper, and if anything has a mistake, out it goes. Papa vacuumed. Sometimes he stopped to wipe his forehead. But why do you have to clean the kingdom, Daniel asked. Mama dusted. She sneezed as she worked. Hi, Matilda. Shh, said Mama, looking around. Don't upset the queen. Where is she? Papa led Daniel into the hallway. She's usually over there, and she's the busiest of all. She sends paper to everyone in the kingdom. Mama dusted the queen's shelves. Daniel took a canister from Mama's cart to water the queen's plant. Let's check out the bathroom, Papa said. I don't have to go yet, said Daniel. I know, said Papa, but let's make sure dragons aren't hiding in there. Dragons? Daniel scooted behind Papa. Oh, don't worry, they work for the king, Papa said. They're small and friendly, but sometimes they hide because they're afraid. Of what? Daniel asked. 
The king, said Papa, and maybe the queen. When they got to the bathroom, Daniel was glad no dragons were there. Papa cleaned each stall. Maybe they're in the kitchen, Papa said. Dragons love to eat. The kitchen was dark and quiet. Smart dragon, said Mama. Guess they won't get caught today. Papa turned on the light. The kitchen was a disaster. Mama wiped spills and picked up trash. Papa swept the floor and straightened tables and chairs. Sometimes Papa rubbed his neck and Mama sneezed. Why are dragons so messy? asked Daniel. They should pick up their own trash. Mama said, maybe they ate in a rush and forgot to clean up. They don't mean to be naughty. But why do you have to clean it all? It made Daniel hurt inside to see Mama and Papa clean such a huge mess by themselves. Not fair. I'm going to yell at the dragons. He angrily threw a banana peel in the trash. No, little bug. Only the king can yell at dragons, Mama said. You know what that means? Daniel shrugged. Someday you'll have to be king, Papa smiled. Then you can sit in the throne room and tell the dragons to be nice and neat. Daniel liked the sound of that. Can I see the throne room again? Daniel sat in the tall chair. He closed his eyes and imagined a kingdom with small dragons who picked up their litter. In the castle, papers were piled high. In the throne room, the chair seemed to reach the sky. Oh, there's the dragons. Remember, little bug, Mama whispered. Remember to be nice when you become king. The dragons work hard too, she hummed as she wiped the windows. Daniel didn't realize they were home until he felt Mama tuck him in. He snuggled in his bed in a corner of the apartment. He thought about Paper Kingdom. He decided if he became a king someday, he wouldn't yell to little dragons, but he'd make sure they cleaned their mess. That way, Mama and Papa wouldn't have to. The end. Isn't that a great story? The author in the back has a little note that says that when she was little, her mom and dad worked as night janitors, and sometimes she would go and to uh, help them at night and to um, occupy him, her and be excited, they would tell stories. And so this is one of the stories that she came up with. Isn't that cool? All right, let's sing another song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shake your head. If you're happy and you know it, shake your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your head. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for coming tonight. I will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. for our Stay in Storytime. Thanks. Bye.